Hey, welcome to the Oyster Mushroom Expert Channel. Today, we'll focus on how low humidity affects mushroom growth. We'll analyze two scenarios. When all other climate parameters are stable, but the humidity is low. When low humidity is combined with extreme temperatures either too high or too low. How does humidity affect mushrooms? You can't just name a single number and call it the ideal humidity. Optimal humidity depends on several factors. Temperature in the grow room, higher temperatures require higher humidity. Outside air humidity, if atmospheric humidity is high, it benefits the mushrooms even if the room humidity is slightly lower. Substrate moisture. If the substrate moisture is slightly above normal, it can compensate for low air humidity and the mushrooms will still develop well. I like to repeat that the shape of mushrooms tells us about the conditions in which they grew. Look at these photos. What can mushroom caps tell us? If the edges of the cap are bent downwards, this indicates a slight lack of humidity. The cap covers the gill area to protect them. After all, humidity is needed for the spores to mature. The cap can have both bent and wavy edges at the same time. This structure indicates fluctuations in humidity in the room, that is, they tried to increase it, but then it dropped again. But overall, the humidity here is only slightly below optimal. Why do mushrooms become dry? Low humidity causes mushrooms to lose weight and develop thinner caps. Here's an example from my experience. Here are two photos from my grow room. I worked on a large batch of mushroom 1,000 blocks fruiting simultaneously. It was an amazing sight, but also a challenge. At first, substrate moisture was at 70% and the room humidity was sufficient. Primordia developed beautifully, dense, thick, and dark gray. But then the outdoor temperature spiked to 73 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 to 25 degrees Celsius and the grow room stabilized at 64 degrees Fahrenheit is 18 degrees Celsius. Humidity dropped below 85% and my humidity system couldn't maintain the levels needed. The mushrooms matured too quickly. As you can see in the photo, they became lighter in color, very thin and lightweight. This shows how insufficient humidity combined with high temperatures can dramatically reduce quality. What conclusion can be drawn from my story? The faster the mushrooms mature, the earlier they should be harvested. Focus on the diameter of the mushroom cap, which should be one and a half to two and a half inches or four to six centimeters. They'll look better, stay firmer, retain moisture, and have a longer shelf life. What to do if humidity is low? Firstly, increase humidity gradually. Sudden changes can harm the mushrooms. If the humidity in the air increases quickly, the mushrooms will not be able to absorb this moisture. They will either release spores or dry out, despite the fact that there will already be enough moisture in the air. Secondly, never spray water directly onto the mushrooms. It won't help and may cause damage. There is a separate video about watering mushrooms with a hose. So, what do we observe in a mushroom growing room when there is a lack of humidity? Slight humidity shortage. The edges of the mushroom cap curl downward, but its color and texture remain normal. Moderate shortage. Caps lighten, edges turn brown, and the surface appears dry. Severe shortage. Mushrooms become pale, lightweight, and lack flesh. High temperatures amplify these effects. In this photo you can see not only dried mushrooms, but also mushroom gnats under the film and the mushroom stroma. The stroma is formed at high temperatures from the mycelium between the film and the substrate. I have a separate video about the stroma. At low temperatures, it is easier to raise the humidity. However, if the temperature is low and the humidity is also low, under these conditions, the mushroom pins may day, turning into a sticky brown mass. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips on growing mushrooms. See you next time.